Let us take up linear equations today. What are linear equations? An equation which typically defines a line on a graph, a straight line on a graph is a linear equation. How do we say why an equation is a linear equation or not? Now to explain that let us take the concept of degrees. Any equation has a degree attached to it. What is a degree? An equation suppose 3x plus 4y equal to 5 is an equation which has 3 terms. Now the highest power of any variable, a variable which is x or y represents the degree. Now in this case 3x, now x is what to the power 1 and 4y again y is to the power 1, 5 does not have a variable. So the highest power is 1 hence the degree of the equation is 1. Let us take another equation 3x plus 4y plus 5xy equals 3. Now in this equation there are 4 terms. The first term 3x again has a degree 1, 4y is a degree 2, 5xy. Now this term has 2 variables together. So the total degree of this term becomes 2 which is the summation of the powers of all the variables together. So this is not a linear equation. Let us take another example. 3x plus 4y plus 5z plus 6a plus 7b equal to 8c. Now this equation has 6 terms in all x, y, z, a, b, c. So there is no limitation on the number of variables an equation can have. If the limitation is only on the power, the highest power that an equation will have. Let us take another example 3x plus 3 upon x equals 0. Now here we have 3 terms 3x. 3 upon x and 0. But if you look closely, the first term has a power 1, second term has a power minus 1. So there is a complication. We will have to minimize all the powers to 0. There is no negativity possible here. So if, if we try to minimize it, it will become 3x square plus 3. So the highest power here will become 2. So this again will not be a linear equation. So any equation which has the highest power 1 and hence represents a straight line on the graph is a linear equation. Let us try solving one of those. Let us take an example 37x plus 43y equals 70. The second equation is 43x plus 37y equals 10. How do we solve this equation? The numerous methods, let us talk try and a beautiful new method or probably an alternative that is possible in this case is adding the two equations. So when we add it, it will become 80x plus 80y equals 80 which can be simplified to x plus y equals 1. Now if we try putting this value into the first equation, we get 6y equals 33 and if we put it in the second equation, it will become 6x equals minus 27. So the answer is x equals 4.5 minus 4.5 and y equals 5.5. The basic requirement to solve any equation is that how many variables are there in the equation. So if there are two variables, you require two equations to solve the set of variables. Similarly, if you have three variables, you require three equations to completely solve it. How do we do it? Let us take a case where it is not happening. 3x plus 2y equals 3, 6x plus 4y equals 6. If you look closely, both the equations are same. If you divide the second equation by 2, you will get 3x plus 2y equals 3. So hence, both the equations are same. So there is no answer possible or it is a set of infinite solutions. Why? Because 3x plus 2y plus 3 will give you a straight line. A straight line will give you so many answers possible. How does the equation solving happen? Two equations give you two straight lines which are intersecting. The point of intersection will give you the right answer. If the two straight lines are parallel to each other, they will not give you the right answer. Or if there is a one straight line, it will give you a long set of answers. Let us look at another equation. 3x plus 2y equals 3, 6x plus 4y equals 5. Now here is a case wherein both the equations are parallel to each other. The ratios of constants along with x and y are same but the other side is not. So this gives you a situation where the lines are parallel. Now let us look at how do we apply linear equations to real life problems. This is typically called an age problem. Some of a mother and a daughter's age is 31 whereas the daughter is one more than one fifth of the age of mother. How do we solve it? So we say the age of the mother is m and the age of the daughter is d. m plus d is 31 and daughter d is equals m by 5 plus 1. So this is a simple set of problems that we can deduce from a given statement. 
So hence if you solve it 6m plus 6m by 5 is 30. So we get m as 25 and d as 6. So the age of mother is 25 and age of daughter is 6. Now let's look at a number problem. How do we explain a two digit number? Suppose the number is 45. So how do we explain it in an equation? So it will be 4 into 10 plus 5 because 4 is at the tens place and 5 is at the units place. Let's look at the problem. Sum of the digits of a two digit number is 5. The digit at the tens place is 1 less than 1 eighth of the entire number. So how do we form the equations? So let's take the first equation. Sum of the digits is 5 which means that x and y are 5. x plus y is 5. The other digit, okay. Uh, second part is tens place digit is 1 less than 1 eighth of the number. So suppose the tens place digit is x. So x equals 1 eighth of the entire number. So entire number here will be 10x plus y and 1 less than that. So minus 1. So solving that we get x equals 1 upon 8 of brackets 9x plus 5 and minus 1. Hence we get x equals 3 and y equals 2. So the number is 32. Let us look at the third type of problem, a money problem. The problem is Rajiv has 26 coins in his pocket and these coins are in the denominations of 20 paisa and 50 paisa. The total amount which we get is 10 rupees. How do we form an equation? First is there are total 26 coins. So if we suppose the number of 20 paisa coins is x and number of 50 paisa coins is y, then x plus y is 26. The second equation that will become is 20 paisa. So 20 multiplied by x and 50 multiplied by y will give me a total of 10 rupees which is 1000 paise. So 20x plus 50y equals 1000. There are two ways of solving it. Either we can go it by the traditional method. Suppose we go it by the alternative method. 26 coins. If all the coins were of 20 paise, how much do I get? We get 26 into 20 paise is 5.2 rupees. What is left is 4 rupees 80 paise. So 4 rupees 80 paise is made out of the difference of 30 paise. So 4.8 divided by 0.3 will give me 16 which means that there are 16 coins which are there of 50 paise and the rest 10 coins are of 20 paise. If we go back to the equation and put it there, 20 into 10 and 50 into 16 will give me a total of 10 rupees. Let's look at another type of problem. Suppose there are two equations and we are supposed to find out for what value of a certain number do we have the consistency of the equations. Let's take a question here, 8x minus 3y equals 4 and 4x minus 2 equals ky. Now k is something that we have to find out here. What is the value of k for which both of these equations will give me an answer? So if we try to rearrange that, okay, it will become 4x minus ky equals 2. The first equation was 8x minus 3y equals 4. So if we try and dividing the first equation by 2, we will get the same second equation. So if we divide it by 2, if k is 1.5, then we do not get an answer. Going back to the logic that we discussed earlier, if both the ratios are always same, they will give me a single line which will have multiple answers. So we need an answer. So for value of 1.5, k will never give me an answer. So k here can assume any value apart from 1.5. Using the skills that we just practiced, we can try and solve many more questions in linear equations and hone our skills.